What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade. And today's video, my friends, is all about passing along a few tips and tricks to new and returning players in regard to the global event reanimated that's going on now. So I want to show you some of my favorite ways to farm for XP and try to get as many stars as quickly as possible. Now, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. Make sure you turn on those notifications. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. And remember, we are currently having a giveaway for a PlayStation 5. Five. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter and the winner will be announced on October 2nd of this year. So the first thing we're going to go over is why these events are great opportunities to earn some really good loot in the game. Now that is because first of all you have a reward track as you can see here as you progress through the tier system. You'll be earning caches along the way and that's great. However in my opinion the best thing about this event is earning stars so you can buy stuff from the global event vendor. Now you have multiple ways to earn stars. You can complete daily challenges like you see here or when the event is active remember you get one star for every shade level that you gain. And before we get into builds and farming XP and all that stuff, I want to remind new and returning players of two very important things. First of all, you have to turn this event on. If you do not turn it on from this screen, you're not going to be getting any stars whatsoever. Secondly, if you happen to play countdown, remember that the global event is not active in that game mode. So if you have a session and then you jump back out into your own gameplay, make sure you turn the global event back on. Otherwise, you will not be gaining anything at all. Now as far as where to spend those stars, I'm right outside the base of operations at the global event vendor. Now you can spend it on anything you want. One thing I recommend is buy named caches and legacy caches because those can contain dark zone exclusive items which I know a lot of people are still looking for. And as we move on to the XP farming aspect of this video, I want to mention that I'm going to leave a link to multiple videos in the description down below. I'm going to show you a build I'm using now, I'm going to show you a build that I highlighted yesterday, as well as an XP farming video that has to do with floor 10 in the summit. It is the most efficient way to earn a ton of XP in a short amount of time, so I definitely recommend checking that out. Anyway, getting back to the footage you're looking at here, I just run around the map and look for elite patrols, convoys, different things like that, and I want to point out the fact that I'm doing this on challenging with three directives. And the reason I bring that up is because I know a lot of people are just returning to the game. Maybe you are not comfortable doing heroic on your own as yet. This is not the golden bullet event, so your character is not as powerful as that last one we had. And I wanted to show you on a lower difficulty with three directives how quickly you can earn XP and really stack those shade levels in a short amount of time. So that footage from a moment ago is from my clearing an elite patrol and again this is on challenging with three directives but in less than a minute I was able to get over 260,000 XP. Now one thing I've highlighted in pretty much every global event video I've put together is that I really like hitting up territory controls during this event and that's for a few main reasons. So first of all they're in a stationary location which means that when I reset my control points to farm the spot again it's going to be in the exact same location as it was in my previous attempts which means that the NPC are going to spawn the exact same way. And you know, depending on where you find, let's say, a convoy on the map, the location of that convoy when you engage with it is going to determine where those next waves of NPC spawn from. So once again, and it, you know, this is just my opinion, having this stationary location, picking a few on the map that you know exactly how the NPCs come at you are going to really cut your time down. And as you can see on challenging with three directives, you get about 200,000 XP in less than two minutes. One thing I want to make sure I mention as we move on is that some of these territory controls will not respawn over and over. So what you do is you go to your map, you reset your control points, and when you open up your map, if that territory control is not there after one or two attempts, make your way to another one, my friends, because this is all about time management. Now what I've done is I've picked about five or six of these that are on the map in different locations, so that way I know no matter what is going on that week, at least one of them will respawn over and over again, and that's the one I hit up. And as I start to wrap this video up, obviously if you do this on heroic with four directives, you're going to get more XP. If you're in the summit and you do seven directives, you're going to get a ton of XP. However, not everyone is at that skill level. So once again, I wanted to highlight something that everyone can do. With all that being said, I want to take a moment as always and thank you all for your incredible support of this channel and remind you if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know in the section down below and I will get back to you as quick as I can. On that note, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out, show you a little more gameplay. However, like I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well, but most importantly, Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon.
Thanks again, everyone. Additional hostile contacts. Surprise.